Good morning, folks. This is just one of the 120 reported tornadoes that touched down yesterday. It's 5 a.m. for me, so the sunrise hasn't come up to tell the tale of damage yet, but deaths are already being reported, and the hail caused a bit of damage and flooding as well. We have a chance for more severe weather today, and let's all take a moment to hope for the safety of those still in the dark. Two quick NASA articles this morning, the first discussing life on Mars. Seems like we get one of these every week now. The other talks about recalculated planet sizes orbiting a nearby star. This is probably the more interesting of the two. On the alert map, we'll begin by going back to that epidemic situation in Namibia where an unidentified disease is proving to be highly fatal. The first test results have come back yesterday, inconclusive. As we approach the peak of the quake watch, either tonight or tomorrow, Earth is teasing us a bit with strong quakes near Antarctica, a 6.6 in Vanuatu, and several more large earthquakes in Indonesia. Having a look at Ovation Prime, charge particle bombardment has subsided a bit. You can see the yellow here dipping. That's the coronal hole stream, the speed of the solar wind going back down. You can see that here as well on Soho. You will remember that the quakes tend to max out when the solar wind speed drops off, so that time is clearly approaching, and you will remember that Saturn is in opposition directly behind the Earth from the Sun. And the combination of those events causes the peak of the watch. It is more about Saturn than the space weather right now. Here on Soho, you can see two eruptions, one going each direction here. Luckily, these events are backside eruptions not coming at Earth, and you can see one blast away bottom right here and the other one blasting off the side here. Looking at the Earth-facing disk, this active region is turning the limb towards the Earth footprint. We have two magnetic filaments that do appear stable for now. We do have a potential eruption centered disk, which is more easily visible here in 94 angstroms. This was just moments ago, so we'll have to update it later. Don't have the data yet. Also, hope to get you a Quake Watch video for the next two months here soon. That's the news, folks. Eyes open. Be safe.